guys, welcome back. So what we're going to demonstrate today with the Arsenal 2 Pro um, is hopefully demonstrate focus stacking. As you can see I've got two subjects here, one in the foreground one in the background. We're just going to see how that performs um, and we'll have a look through the application. So there we go, there you can see our little cat and our little superwoman. Sorry about the flickering, that's because I have these LED lights. So let's get over to the app and see how this performs. So here we are in the application, you can see that I've um, charged up the Arsenal 2 Pro and we have again the Canon EOS R5 with a 16 to 35. Connect to the Arsenal. Alright, so this is the main screen in the app. Um, at the moment we are just on the standard smart setting and you can see if we tap the screen on the little superwoman it'll focus on the superwoman and if we tap on the cat it will focus on the cat so what we want to do is demonstrate how focus stacking works so just down the bottom left hand corner here we click on that and these are all our stacking modes so we have crowd control uh, which take and merge multiple shots to remove moving objects such as people from a scene choose the desired interval um, between shots. Then we have exposure stacking. So if we have a really bright sky and a really dull foreground, we can use exposure stacking to basically get the perfect exposure over, over the whole scene. Then we have focus stacking. Uh, so we'll come back to that one in a sec. Then we have long exposure stacking produce a longer exposure by taking multiple shots and averaging the pixels into the new photo. So if you're doing a waterfall uh, in the middle of the day with no ND filter, um, this setting is supposed to solve that problem. So, and then off of course. So we're gonna go to focus stacking. We're gonna do, let's start by doing four shots. And the focus step size is how many increments between each focus step. Now they're saying the lower the step, the finer um, the, the detail. Basically what they mean is um, you set that to 50, um, you're going to have lesser detail than you would if you set that to 20. So I'm guessing that if you set the focus step size down lower you will need to do more pitches across the whole scene so we're just going to do four shots at 50 and see what happens so what we're going to do with focus stacking you need to focus on the nearest item first that you want on in focus so we're going to press on the cat get him in focus and then down the bottom here the smart button we're going to hit that And then what we're going to do is go into here, you'll see the four photos that have been taken and then the one at the end is it, um, blending them together. So if we just go through these photos, you can see the cat's in focus, cat's in focus, cat's still in focus, and that's it. That focus stack has not worked. And this is what I've found and I've messaged um, support about it so hopefully it gets fixed so we'll go back say so you got to focus on the nearest it should go green let's go into here and take 10 shots all right let's give it another shot If you actually had a keen eye there, you would have actually seen the line of focus changing. So I think that's actually worked a lot better. So 
let's go into the pictures. So there's the last one, and these are the new ones. You can actually see the line of focus changing. So we might have more success out of that one. Let's look at the last photo. She's not quite in focus, but I think she's close. So let's do another test shot. If we go in here, let's do half the photos, but more step size. Let's do 80. Okay, go back to smart, focus on the cat. Press the smart button. That went out of focus then. I don't think it quite got that one. Oh, we might be lucky. So what we're going to do is we're going to let those focus stacks process. We can see this one here. We'll click on this one. See that the cat's relatively in focus, but we haven't quite made it to the, the super one. So that first one failed. We just want to check the second one. The second one was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten shots. So we'll just wait until that finishes processing. I haven't got much light on this subject too. That could be a big problem. Okay, so we can see now that both of them have processed. So we'll click on this one, which was the 10 shot one. And we can see the cat is in focus. And the superwoman's pretty close to being in focus. Um, like I said, this is probably not the best scene. Um, as it's not lit up quite well. So let's just see the other one, which was the 2, 4, 6, Seven. Hang on, there's only seven there. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, oh, five shots. Sorry. So this is five shots, but we changed the um, the focus step a little bit higher, and it doesn't look too bad. What I might do is just change up the scene and get a little bit more light on the subject, and we'll do one more test of the focus stacking. Okay, so I've changed up the scene now. Um, we've got multiple things here in focus. So we have a candle there that's in focus. And the cat. And the Wonder Woman. Whoa, that didn't quite work. There we go. So click on the cat. There we go. Sometimes it takes a bit. So let's go into settings. Let's go... Let's go eight shots. And let's leave the step at 80. Let's go. And see there, it got pretty blurry. Whether it didn't have any subjects to actually focus on. So we'll go to here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shots. And that last one is it processing. So we'll let that process and see what the end result is. So that actually took quite a number of minutes to process that photo but if we click on that how good is that like that's off my phone and pretty much everything apart from the door it's really hard to tell because this is a phone but you know that's pretty darn good you know the potential of this focus stacking is pretty darn good. Now, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that, and I think out in the field, um, that's going to be really, really good. 
So you can see when we click on the cat, um, it chooses the, the settings that it believes are the best. So one fourth of a second, aperture 11, ISO 100. So you can actually shoot across to manual and still use your focus stacking and choose your own settings if you like. Um, but hey, we're testing the power of Arsenal here. If um, we're gonna choose our own settings, we could uh, do everything ourselves and process the photo on the computer. Um, the beauty about this is that all of the photos that it's taken are saved on your camera. And if you have a memory card, they're saved onto your memory card on Arsenal. So I think that is a pretty good demonstration of the um, focus stacking. Um, hopefully that's, you know, it gives you a bit of confidence for the Arsenal 2 that the features work pretty darn well right now. And I can only expect them to get better as the firmware upgrades come out. Anyway, thanks guys. Make sure you subscribe because we're going to keep going through the arsenal and hopefully get out on the field and show you some results of things like um, the, what's it called? Deep Color. You've got to check out Deep Color. That is one feature that a lot of people will like because they won't have to edit their photos. Thanks guys.